What's up, everybody? We're back with another edition of 95X Cares, your community animal rescue effort, brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar. I am Dixon, joined as always by Jenny. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm a little cold today. Yeah, it's it's um, frigid. Frigid. It is. I had I'm not, to work out it's, to walk the dog this it's morning. It's happened fast. Yeah, I'm not excited. <laughs> not well, excited. we'll get used to it. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> on, a, on a good note. Uh, November is one of my favorite months. It's Adopt a Senior Pet Month. Uh, it is. Who have been my MO my entire adult life. So uh, you have brought us a dude that, man, I wish Wiggles was better with other dogs because Abu from Wanderer's mm -hmm. Rest looks like the perfect older dog. He's beautiful. So he's about 13 years old. So he is definitely in his golden years. Uh, but he was found as a stray in pretty rough shape. Uh, Wanderer's Rest had taken him in. They gave him lots and lots and lots of TLC. And this dog is just looking for a place to kind of crash and live out the best last maybe few years of his life uh, with, you know, learning and maybe really receiving for the first time what love is. And uh, yeah, he seems to do okay with other dogs, other cats. So he's kind of, like I said, he's just looking for a place to crash. He's beautiful. He's a really, really cute dog. Um, definitely looks like a senior, but uh, it is Adopt a Senior Month, as you said. So what better way to feature, you know, than starting, starting us off with a boo. And take it from me, while Wiggles wasn't what I would call elderly, he was an older dog. But my three dogs prior to that were all 10 plus. And I can tell you that there is no better feeling than having an older dog that understands that they're where they're going to be for the rest of their life. And that moment that it clicks is literally one of the most fulfilling moments that you'll ever have in your entire life. So don't look at it from the perspective of I'm getting a 13 year old dog and I don't necessarily know how long it's going to live. Look at it from the perspective of I'm adopting a 13 year old dog and he is going to live out the rest of his days like a king. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Look at it from just that knowing what love is. Yeah, it, yeah. It's such a an amazing feeling. Uh, and I know that sounds selfish in some ways, but um, hey, listen, if you can give Abu a great year or two or whatever it is that he has left, I can promise you that that feeling in the end is not going to be sadness. It's going to be joy. Absolutely. You know, and I think that I read once about um, the people who always like remark on like, well, it's going to be really hard when the time comes and that's going to hurt me a lot. And I don't think I'm ready to take that on. It's so much sadder to think about all these dogs who die in a shelter environment because somebody wasn't willing to give up their couch and the space and just love. Truly. That's all that it is. Like it's a senior dog. Like he's not looking to go hike mountains and you know, the, that, that whole vibe that a younger dog really kind of brings to your life that's not a senior dog. A senior dog is literally like your Netflix and chill. Like that's, that's all they want. And somebody to give them belly scratches and maybe an extra treat or two or a plate at Thanksgiving of all things that your dogs are allowed to have. Uh, but we'll, like, cover. we'll cover in a couple of we weeks. Will. We'll go back over that. <laughs> uh, but like, that's, that's what he needs. And so if that sounds like the environment that you have, or maybe you have somebody who's older in your life and lonely, and this is the time of the year that sometimes brings out a lot of loneliness for people maybe a boo can help fill that void for somebody as they help fill it for him uh so i hope that he's not waiting too long i wanted to you know i know that we're into the second week of november here uh but definitely harp on the fact that it is adopt a senior month uh we will be featuring other senior dogs this month as well and there's one more thing that i wanted to mention and you said november is one of your favorite months it is also one of my favorite months i love thanksgiving um and speaking of Thanksgiving, one of the best events that takes place is Thanksgiving morning, the Liverpool Turkey Trot. Uh, every year they help different nonprofit organizations everywhere. And their dog walk portion this year is going to be giving 100% of proceeds back to recyclable bully breed rescue. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how important this is because we are constantly looking for fosters. We have an abundance of dogs in the shelters. And if we want those dogs to be pulled, we have to really like wrap around these organizations that are foster based and give them as much support as we can. So maybe you're not in the shape to be a foster or a volunteer, but you're a runner and you love Thanksgiving, then head over there and participate. And that's just one way to monetarily do something for yourself. 
but also for rescue and helping those dogs in need. Absolutely. Uh, we'll cover that more and more as we get closer to Thanksgiving. Uh, but I do want to circle back to the foster thing because a uh, mutual friend of ours, mm -hmm. uh, Bree and her partner, Daniel, recently yep. got approved to be fosters. And it's a process, right? Like I can't stress that enough that even if you're contemplating fostering, at least get the process going. Because even if you get approved, it doesn't mean they're going to be like, yo, here's a dog, take it to your house, right? Like it's just right. a process like anything else. If you want a new pet, right? You plan on adopting a pet. There's a process, whether you're adopting or fostering, start it early, get your yeah. paperwork in, get approved, let the shelter know what it is exactly you're looking for. And chances are that's going to walk into the shelter and you're going to get a call that says, hey, you're an approved foster and you were looking for this, 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 and this. And guess what? That just walked through the door. Makes the whole Absolutely. process easier. You know, and I always like to tell everybody that the board at Recyclable Bully Reed Rescue and the person who started it, Steph, she is wonderful. And she's not just going to like take any dog and be like, no, yeah, we're just going to throw him in your house and see how he does. She oftentimes, so she does have a background in training dogs, takes the dog to her house first and sees how the dog interacts with her pack of dogs that she has. Um, so she really gets an, to identify all right, we're not good at sharing toys or we're not good at sharing food. And maybe these are some things that we're going to work on. But if we're not good at sharing our food and we don't want to like dogs around us when we're doing that, I'm not going to stick you in a home where there's small children and other dogs who might come near you when you're eating. She wants to set her fosters up for success. She wants to make sure that the dog that she's placing in the house is going to be 100% the best fit and that the family is going to be able to help the animals with maybe whatever barriers they have going on. But if it's a house that has like small kids and cats and other dogs, she's going to make sure that you get like that gemstone dog that is fine with other dogs and cats and kids. And she wants success. Nobody wants to place these dogs to have a phone call. that's like, dude, get this dog out of my house. It doesn't work. So that is never their MO. So if you are ever considering fostering, know that these organizations really do their best to make sure that the placement you receive is one that is going to, to work out best for you, for your home and your environment. It's not to add any stress, but to really just be a, a platform, truly, to make sure that these dogs are set up for success, that we can see their best personalities start to shine and get them really ready for their forever home environment too. Absolutely. So congratulations again to Bree and Dan on being able to foster now. Uh, check out Abu at Wanderer's Rest. The information is on the screen right now. We'll be back next week with another adoptable pet, and we'll give you even more details about the turkey trot. Jenny, I can't thank you enough for bringing Abu to our attention this week. Uh, fingers crossed he gets a home before the weekend. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, and we're going to start to talk about foods, too. Remember, like all the foods that you oh, can yeah. share with your dogs at, at Thanksgiving. I think next week we're going to start to tap into that as well. Sounds good to me. I uh, appreciate you as always, and we'll see you next week. We'll see you then. All right. This has been 95X Cares, your community animal rescue effort for 95X, brought to you by the Law Office of William Matar.